Hello, my name is Y Lam with Drone Rental Supply, and today we just got in the QAV 210 Sharpoo Edition. So this is the box that it comes in. As you can see, it's very small. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and uh, see what's inside, and uh, see how good it looks. So as you can see, the box is significantly smaller than the uh, QAV 210, but you know it's a smaller frame, so it works for me. We really don't care too much about the box, anyways. Open that up, and this is what we get. So we have nicely packaged, here's the top, here's the two sides that will hold the camera, and here's the optional one to hold more of a box camera. So we'll definitely take a look at these and open them up. Here are the spacers for the uh, quad itself. All of the screws are nicely packaged in there. And then we have this nice package full of stuff. Let's see what's in here. We have, here's the rubber grommet that will hold, I think the XT60, uh, 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 the XT60 connector. So that looks pretty good. I'm glad that they actually included that. Probably pretty easy to lose. They included a bunch of zip ties. One, two, four zip ties, uh, the XT60 cable, which is nice. Uh, there's actually some frames that don't include that, so this is always nice to have that included. Power distribution board, this is the simplified version. Uh, really good power distribution board. We've actually been using these for other builds, and uh, they've been holding up pretty well. Uh, more spacers. Uh, these look like nylon spacers to actually hold your power distribution board and then your flight board on top of that. So very useful. Uh, really glad they actually uh, shipped with these. A lot of uh, a lot of frames don't ship with them, and then you end up scrambling to try to find these nylon spacers somewhere. The small strap. So this is a small quad. They included the small strap. Good probably for 1,000 to 1,300, maybe 1,500 batteries. Most likely 1,500 will work fine. Uh, close cell foam, something for your camera if you choose to use it. Of course, the stickers. And then the little rubber landing, uh, not, or rubber landing uh, for your landing legs. So that's everything in that bag. And then at the bottom here, uh, nicely wrapped away, looks really good, Oop. four millimeter frame, <clears throat> nice and rigid. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, put this together and uh, show you what it looks like and then we can compare it with something that's similar. We'll, we'll actually have a tweaker frame that we'll compare it to, even though this is a 210, not the 180, uh, but uh, it'll be at least a good reference point. So when we actually put this together, we're going to go ahead and use the Sony camera that uh, it's kind of built for and we'll show it with the... Uh, 600 milliwatt uh, Lumineer transmitter that I think it's specifically designed for. So we'll be back in a second when we put this frame together. So the first thing that we actually wanted to do was try the uh, Sony CCD cam uh, with the new QAV210, or sorry, yeah, 210, I was correct, and uh, using the carbon fiber sides. I thought these would actually be kind of heavy, but they're really not. They're actually very thin, but they're still pretty rigid. And uh, once you put it in there, it actually fits pretty nicely in there. And uh, then you can actually adjust this camera. It stays pretty nice and snug in there. So it's uh, definitely a pretty good design. We're uh, going to be pretty interested once we go ahead and put the top in to see uh, how it would look. But um, it's one of the things that's a little bit different with these designs is that uh, some of the features on here are purpose-built for specific types of parts. And uh, what's great is that uh, if you have that specific part, it fits very nicely and snugly in there, but you're going to have to pay for that specific part. So I uh, just wanted to give you a quick look at that. Uh, I, I personally like it. I like these cameras 
they are on the expensive side, but uh, when you have it nice, snug in there and then well protected on each side, I think it's actually a really good design. So at the beginning of the video, I was praising the uh, kit to have the nylon spacers, but it's actually missing four because uh, what it came with are these initial, uh, they look like 10 millimeter nylon spacers and then the company nuts to bolt them on to the bottom of the frame and then they have these uh, screw nuts to uh, hold the power distribution board down. Problem is is that with just that nylon set you have no place to put your flight controller so you actually need another set of spacers to mount your flight controller because if you were to put these on then you're going to need a case or some alternative to put your flight controller. This is just a demo CC3D flight controller. So we have, we do have nylon spacer set over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take four of the 10 millimeters, identical to the ones that come with the set, put them on top of the power dis distribution board so we can show you what it looks like with, with a uh, CC3D flight controller on top of it. So that is a con. Uh, you still do need additional nylon spacers when you buy the set. Otherwise, you're going to have to get creative and uh, find a different way to uh, mount your flight controller board. So here is uh, what we've completed. It really didn't take all that long. Probably take you under half an hour to complete it uh, just like this. Obviously, it's going to take a lot longer if you're going to get it uh, fly worthy when you have to solder in all the motors, ESCs, and uh, power distribution board. Uh, we do have a 600 milliwatt uh, Lumineer uh, VTX, but uh, we don't have a uh, 90 degree angle mount for the antenna, so we can't mount it for you. But if we did have that and then we were to zip tie it, it would look something like this. As you can see, just like the camera, this is uh, purpose built for one of the Lumineer 600 milliwatt uh, uh, video transmitters. Uh, we will try other ones back here when we have time and we actually have a 90 degree mount but uh, right now uh, this would be kind of what it looks like and as you can see it actually fits there very nicely and uh, if you're willing to use all Lumineer parts or uh, Lumineer sized parts this this uh, camera is um, exactly what Lumineer uses but it's not branded a uh, Lumineer camera but it's, a, uh, it's an identical model and uh, it fits really nicely together uh, the grommet back here uh, for the XT60, uh, definitely a really nice feature, holds it very nice and snug, uh, really nice. So uh, before we end the video, I did want to compare it to uh, another frame that's really similar that we do have built out and we're selling. This is actually a tweaker, this is actually a 180 millimeter frame, but as you can tell, if you look at it just really quickly, you almost can't tell the difference between a 210 and a 180. They look very similar. So if I were to flip this around and then I were to hold this up, you can tell that it is a little bit bigger than uh, the 180, but really it's not really that much bigger. So here's a side view of the two. So as you can tell, just by looking at these two that uh, if you go down to the 180 frame of the Luminaire you're really not going to get too much smaller uh, these are very very nice very unique and uh, don't get me wrong these 180 frames uh, the ones that we've built uh, we've tuned and uh, we've we've flown these these fly really well they're really fun machines to fly and we have a feeling that the 210 will be the exact same way so we're really looking forward to uh, building one of these out and then seeing what it can do. But uh, it'll take a little bit of time. Uh, that's our brief video. Uh, this is actually a really nice frame. I'm really uh, looking forward to actually getting one of these built. Uh, everything on it looks good. I really like the black and silver design. I really like the camera placement with the exception of uh, not having enough nylon spacers to actually put on your flight controller. Uh, everything that you get is really solid. Uh, for the price, uh, you know, it's $70. The tweaker frame, um, when it comes with it, uh, it doesn't come with the XT60 cable, it doesn't come uh, with the nylon spacers, and it doesn't come with a strap or a power distribution board. So 
really if you add all these components up um, you're going to be getting get pretty close to it, the $70 frame for the tweaker frame so really um, uh, it's not a bad value I mean it's not inexpensive you're not going to get you know to the ZMR price but uh, for the $70 price point uh, we think that is a, it's fairly good value uh, hopefully you like our video if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching.